the community center that has its genesis on, 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 uh, on Pond Hill Road, had, has a history. It was a community center, and we had people who started that center, uh, Mrs. Treadwell and a Mrs. Uh, Brazley, who started the center. The, uh, there was no EOC at that time, but this is the forerunner of the EOC. The EOC only is an outgrowth of the anti-poverty. It, it, it was the, the, the poverty when, when, when Johnson signed the bill, if you, if, you, if you recall, I forgot what it, but that's, and they received monies to be able to stimulate communities. That's how the EOC uh, was birthed. Oh, the earlier years of the Manhattan Community Service Center were great years, great years. Um, there were a lot of activities, as I stated before, at the Manhasset Community Service Center. Now, when I talk about activities there, I'm talking about activities from the Science Club to basketball. We had sewing. Mrs. Batillo um, uh, was in charge of sewing. And then you had the music, Mr. Maynard, and then Mr. Um, Conway was in charge of the gym and the activities in the gym. They had a jukebox room. Some years later, even downstairs, they had a woman come in and redecorate, which they made into the coffee house. Um, there were sponsored trips out of the community to see shows on Broadway, to go to certain events. Even the basketball team had a, a league in which they uh, played against other centers in the Long Island area. So there was always, and then Mrs. Brazley. She had African dance. She would always, there was always activities going on um, during the week. And um, in the summertime, my first job was um, given to me uh, through the Manhattan Great Nick EOC through their summer program.